Okay, really quickly, I know what you're all thinking. I can fucking read minds. You guys are probably sitting there thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna thumbs down this video. Jack's selling another fake story time video. How can one boy have so many awful dating stories? Believe me, I wonder that about myself. The only answer that I can actually give you guys is I, you know, some people are addicted to drugs. Some people are addicted to caffeine. I'm addicted to boys. I'm a hopeless romantic. I have been on almost every fucking social like dating platform tinder okay cupid which was way in the past same thing with plenty of fish i'm embarrassed to even admit that i was on those no offense if you are zeus oh my fucking god grinder adam for adam i have had like skeezy experiences i've had terrible experiences i've just had in general really negative experiences with dating and i might as well tell them on the internet get that ad revenue off of these terrible dating experiences and this date cost me a good 500 dollars this is going to be the story about the date that i went on with the closeted basketball player who i didn't even realize was closeted at the time and then i kind of got fucked over I'm a little salty about it, but you guys, you can be the judge for yourself. Let's get right into it. So I met this boy on Tinder, okay? Let me just say, I was immediately attracted to him because he was fucking tall. He was tall, he was a basketball player. You guys know me with athletes. I'm like, you know what, fuck me down, fuck me good. You play basketball? Fuck me while you're spinning the damn basketball on your finger. Do a layup while you fuck me. Let's play horse, but actually spell out fuck me. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with athlete, athletes. Obsessed with athletes. He seemed sane. He seemed normal. He was complimenting me telling me I was cute And when you literally compliment me like I pull out like a microphone and I like hold it under your mouth And I'm like tell me more. Do you mind if I record this? I don't know. He was just a really cute guy Okay, so he wanted to hang out and initially I was like eh, Do I want to hang out with this guy mostly because like look at every fucking video on this channel It's all about terrible dating experiences. I like to think I learned my lessons from past experiences So I was like do I want to have another horrific date, but he was like, you know what? Like, like, I'm gonna be driving, like, close to where you live. You're, like, 30 minutes away. We can just go get dinner, and it'll be fun. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, dinner. Like, if he's crazy, if he's weird, I can just, like, run away. Like, we're in a restaurant. Like, I'll be like, everyone get out of here. He's crazy. I'll, like, I'll be in public. You know what I mean? And I was also thinking to myself, like, dinner. You know what? Daddy likes food. Daddy can eat. And if the guy's crazy, I'll just be like, mm -hmm, waiter, can I have this to go? Can I have a little to go box? Whatever. Win win situation. Okay. So it became the time to meet, and I completely lied to my mom. Sorry, mom, that I always lie to you about going on dates, but I feel weird being like, mom, I'm going to meet a boy who I never met in real life. I met him over Tinder. Like, pray for me. So I lied to my mom, and I was like, I'm going to go meet my friend Maddie, and we're going to go maybe get some pizza. So I like run out of the house, I get in my car, I floor it because I'm late to everything. And we were supposed to meet at a hibachi restaurant. Okay, that was my job. My job was to find an open hibachi restaurant. And me and this guy both pull into this parking lot. It's this dark, vacant parking lot of this hibachi restaurant. The restaurant was closed. I had wanted to meet this guy in public as to not so I didn't die, but there I am in this huge, barren, dark parking lot. Like, it looked like a drug deal. And he gets out of his car to give me a hug, and I felt bad, like, just, like, rolling down my window and being like, what do you want? Like, I'm Jack, nice to meet you. Let's go somewhere where it's lit. So, like, I didn't want to do that. So, like, I got out of my car, gave him a hug, too. Thank God he didn't kill me. That was one. Thanks, God, for looking out for me. So he didn't kill me, and he was like, oh, I think this hibachi restaurant is closed. And I'm like, Pfft. Oops. He was like, didn't you like check to see if the restaurant was open beforehand? Uh, and I was like, no. So we ended up going across the street to an Italian restaurant. Carabas, do you guys know that restaurant with the trees on the ceiling or whatever, the trees on the roof? I fucking hate Carabas. Their food used to be good, but now it's like pure salt. And like, I wanted to seem adventurous, like, ooh, I'm adventurous, fuck me hard, because I'm getting calamari, which is like those little octopus things, you know? Fried breaded octopus, but I swear to God, it was like fried salt. Like it, it tasted like cum. But there I am trying to act like I'm enjoying this calamari, being like, mm, can't get enough of it. Lying, like, I don't know why lies just spill out of my mouth. So we're talking, it's a good date, nothing was wrong with the date at all, he's telling me all about like his little basketball games and shit like that, and I'm like, hmm, tell me more, tell me everything, do you mind if I film this? Pull out a camera, have him speak through a microphone so that everyone in the restaurant knows I'm on a date with a basketball player, you know? There I am imagining our like little future baseball ch basketball, I don't even know what fucking sport I'm talking about anymore, they're all the same. Imagining our future basketball playing children. Together we would be like a power couple of basketball, but the day went really fucking south. So we finish up at Carabas, you know, we finish up our authentic Italian dining experience. We split 
the check because I feel weird not splitting checks with guys because then I feel like I have to blow them in the parking lot after. Like, you know what? Ooh, you bought me chicken parmesan. You spent $17 on my chicken parmesan. But honestly, if I would have blown that guy in that parking lot, too much salt. Come mix with that calamari and that chicken parm. It would have been like I would have died. You know, it's like I would have been so fucking dehydrated. Anyway, <laughs> our date at Carabas came to a close and we didn't know what to do. We didn't know where to go afterwards. And initially, like, I'm always like, oh, like, come back to my house. But I had lied to my mom being like, I'm going to hang out with Maddie. It would have been completely, I would have, he wasn't Maddie. So I was like, you know what? Let's go see a movie. This is where the date fucking goes south. Who the fuck is texting me? So obviously this is my hometown. So I'm like, I will lead us to the movie theater. And he was going to get in his car. And he was gonna follow me to the movie theater. AMC, they have recline reclinable seats. Ooh, I'm classy as fuck. They also have a bar at AMC. I can get fucked up, which is all that I want to do on these dates. You know what I mean? I want to be so fucked up, I cannot walk. Anyway, there we are in route to AMC. I... <laughs> I'm driving and I feel so bad saying this like if you're watching this video you were so sweet you were so cute I'm not making fun of you at all I have done this before well not quite this but I've done things similar before there I am driving down the road letting the putting down my convertible just kidding I didn't have a convertible I had like a Subaru but there I am driving you know throwing red shells at the cars in front of me but what happens is we reach a red light and what do you do at red lights you stop so I slow down to a stop I look at my rearview mirror and I see him framed in it and I'm just like oh like smiling and then I like return my attention back to the road. This is where like shit happened. I'm sitting at the red light completely stop. It's still a red light. I glance down for one second at the steering wheel and my hands. I just hear a loud bang. My neck like snaps forward. My phone comes flying out of my hand and the corner perfectly hits me right here above my eyebrow. Fuck. I thought like, damn, like I'm in like a 10 car pileup accident. I'm sitting there like, oh fuck. I don't know what to do. Like I don't know how to do anything, okay? Like, I don't know what to do when you get in a, a driver's accident. Do I call 911? I don't even know if you call 911 or just the police station. I've never done it before. I don't even know what my fucking insurance looks like. I know it's in the box. The compartment, department box, whatever the fuck it's called. I have my license. Here's my license. You know, don't look at the picture on it, though, because I'm really fucking ugly. But, like, that's all that I know to do. So I look in the rearview mirror, and what I see framed in the rearview mirror is my Tinder date going like like perfectly framed like a gasp and I'm like okay I'm gonna pull over so I pull over he pulls over there we are again in a dark vacant parking lot and no one else pulled over they just like floor it and keep going and I was like don't fuckers like you know what like don't like leave that scene of the crime the scene of the accident I was gonna say scene of the ambulance I am taking a mental note of what your car looks like all you fuckers and I was also waiting to see like a wrecked car like the one that caused the huge pile up and I never saw it and I was just like okay like where what happened like what is going on and that was when I realized my tinder date literally just hit me from behind and he got out of his car he was so embarrassed he literally looked on the verge of tears and like I understand why you'd be mortified like if I did that I would throw up like you know how I said he was like like framed in the rearview mirror I would have been like like throwing up everywhere like all down the windshield <laughs> he was like oh my god I'm so sorry like I didn't mean to do it like the light just turned green and I just went and I'm sorry I hit your car and I was like no it's okay like and I also couldn't be like hold it right there while I dial 911 like this was my tinder date I also didn't see any damage on my car so I was like I'm sure it's fine but like I'll just claim this on my insurance and tomorrow we don't need to call the cops whatever and he's like no please don't claim it on your insurance because my parents are gonna find out and I'm not out I'm closeted and if they find out then they're gonna wonder why I'm in like 45 minutes away from my home meeting a random stranger. And I was like, fuck, this kid's closeted. Like, I understand what it's like. Like, I, I never want somebody to be, to be outed over something so fucking stupid. You know what I mean? So, like, I was like, fuck, like, I can't call the cops then. I can't claim this on my insurance. I'm like, okay. I took a picture of his insurance just in case. And I was like, okay, whatever. So then we went to AMC and he was like, I'll buy <laughs> your movie ticket, which was so sweet of him. Like, he didn't have to do that. We go see a comedy movie and I felt so bad. Like, I got fucking depressed during that movie. So depressed. Like, I get triggered by random things in a depression and it was his life. 
laughter because it was a comedy movie and he was laughing and I don't know why it was making me so depressed but the thing is like when we were watching the previews he was like please like please continue to talk to me I'm so sorry I'm so embarrassed and I was like oh no don't worry I'll still talk to you but like in the back of my mind I was like I don't think this is gonna work out with this guy at one point during the movie he was like really carefree and he was laughing and he was having a good time and I felt that made me depressed like I don't know why like I want like when I hear laughter like I want everyone to be happy and I felt bad that this kid would blame himself for the date going wrong and I I know what it's like to be embarrassed and like to have a blow to your confidence and I felt bad that he was closeted and I wish everyone didn't carry around shame or sneak around and it was just so much shit made me feel depressed so the movie ended I gave him a hug I said goodbye I was like I'll keep in touch with you on my way home the entire time I was thinking to myself I was like what the fuck am I gonna tell my parents like how am I gonna be like lol like I got into an accident and didn't call the cops they're gonna be like what the fuck you dumb slut so I'm like thinking to myself my excuse and I'm also like what am I gonna say about like Maddie like she just watched it happen you know so I finally get home and I walk inside my house and I'm like hey fam what's up like I had a great time with Maddie at the cinema the local cinema we had some popcorn we had a hot dog like oh my bladder's a little full I'm gonna go pee by the way somebody hit our car bye and they were like what somebody hit the car from behind and you didn't call us because they expect me to call them immediately when I get into an accident because I never know what the fuck to do. And I was like, no, like I just didn't think to call you. It was fine. There's not a lot of damage. And they're like, did you call the cops? And I was like, no, I didn't call the cops. There wasn't any damage. And they got so mad. They were like, yo, fucking idiot. Okay, they didn't say that, but they were mad. They thought that. My dad immediately goes to check the car. I was like, there's no damage. And he like rushes outside to check the car. And he comes back in the house like mad. Bad. Like screaming, he's like, there's damage all over the back, that bumper's gonna need to be replaced, and I'm just like looking at him, and I'm like, okay, well, you know what, it was dark in the parking lot, like, I, I'm not a fucking X-Man, like, I'm not a fucking bat, I'm not an owl, I can't see in the dark, I'm sorry, I didn't see there was damage, my bad. So he's so mad, he's like, this is my insurance, this car's under my name, our insurance is gonna go up because you didn't call the cops, and I'm like, I am sorry, fam bam. And they were like, so, who hit you? And I had told them it was like a middle-aged woman, okay, and what fucked me up, what revealed my lie, was the fact that they were like, so, why didn't you call the cops? We're gonna claim this right now on our insurance because they were gonna immediately have me call the insurance company and I was like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> like, I had no excuse. I was like, no, I promised to call this kid tomorrow after I talked to you and we looked at it in daylight and they were like, it's a kid? I thought you said it was a middle-aged woman. And they were just like looking at me like, to literally like mad. Like, do you know, like that fucking, do you know that Spongebob meme? Where, like, that fish is, like, really mad while he's eating a sandwich. Like, this is what my parents were looking at me like. Like, they fucking hated me in that moment. They were just staring at me, like, wanting answers. And I didn't know what to say. And I was like, fuck. I fucked this up because I'm clearly caught in a lie. So I looked at them. And th these were, wor I didn't, I don't know why these words came out of my mouth. Do you know when Spongebob finds out Squidward's, like, Scrabby Patties and he's like, that was me. And I remember I looked around and I was like, I literally said, <laughs> I was like, well... What a tangled web of lies I've weaved. And my parents were like, what? So then I had to tell them, I was like, okay, like I lied to you, I wasn't with Maddie. I went on a Tinder date with this random guy. He ended up hitting my car and I couldn't be like, well, you know what? D you're gonna regret this when I call the cops. I also explained that he wasn't out to his parents, so I couldn't claim it on my insurance, and my dad was like, oh, and my mom was like, oh, and like, I just watched their anger ebb away, but I was like mortified, I was embarrassed that I had lied. My parents trust me so much, and here I am being a fucking, the star of Pinocchio, like a fucking Pinocchio wooden puppet boy liar, and I felt so bad, and I was just like, I'm sorry, and they were like, okay, you know what? We'll figure it out, and it's gonna end up costing me $500. I know we got an estimate about it already because we're just gonna get it fixed. And that's so much fucking money, but you know what? I'm biting the bullet. I am a good fucking person. So whenever anyone, you see a comment being like, Jack's evil, and Jack just wants money, and Jack's hungry for, like, fame and attention. I am hungry for fame and attention because I'm an attention whore, but I am still a good person. I didn't out this random stranger to his family. I need to burn. I'm a good fucking person, and I don't toot my own horn a lot, but you know what, in this situation, <clears throat> ew, in this situation, I was a good fucking person. I also never saw the boy again, so you know what, if you're watching, what's up, hope you're having a good day, you know, 
Da -da 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 -da. Like, sorry, like I need to pay for this five hundred dollars with um, this ad revenue over here. So I hope you're having a good day. Also, like, fucking the things I do for dick, the things I do for boys, like seriously, and I don't even have fucking sex. You know what I mean? I get my car crashed into and I don't even have sex. But seriously, anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. That's the story. If you want another video by me last week, I will link below. I made a whole skit video about how to masturbate. It is a video that I'm so proud of, so definitely check that out. Link will be in the description box below. Subscribe if you haven't to my channel yet. D dude, follow me on Instagram, like, at jmeridu. Like, also follow me on Snapchat, at jmeridu as well. My Twitter's official Jack M. I tweet out nonsense day and night, mostly at night, because that's the only time I'm awake. Definitely go check out last week's video, though. Comment below with your thoughts. Comment Comment below with your tragic stories. Comment below. Uh, I can't believe he threw his shit on you. Comment below. Wow, I can't believe he shit his pants in your car. Yes! And made you eat it. Comment somebody like that below. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.